This is Six Minute English from bbclearningenglish.com. Hello and welcome to another episode of Six Minute English with me, Fei Fei. And me, Neil. How are you, Neil? And what are we talking about today? I'm very well, and today we're talking about misunderstandings. A famous French writer once said that language is the source of misunderstandings. With me in the studio today are colleagues Conrado and Stephanie, who've come in to tell us about a misunderstanding they had recently. Conrado and Stephanie, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So, tell us about your story. Well, we work in the same company, but in different offices. And one day, I was speaking to Stephanie on the phone, and I asked her a question. And she didn't know the answer. So she said, hang on. Hang on means wait. I wanted him to wait while I found the answer. But I got confused. I thought hang on was the same as hang up. And hang up means put the phone down, finish the phone call. So when I came back with the answer, he was gone. So I called him back and told him the answer. Then he asked another question. So I said, hang on again. And again, he was gone. Three times I had to call him back. I didn't understand why she was getting angry with me. She got really angry, actually, before we sorted it out. Hang up, hang on. That's a really good one. If only you'd had Business Betty there to help. Ah, Business Betty. Oh, here she is now. It's Business, Business Betty. Betty. Hello. Hello, Betty. And may I say, you're looking absolutely fantastic as ever. Thank you, Neil. And how can I help you? We need some tips on avoiding misunderstandings. Certainly. If language is a source of misunderstandings, the best way to avoid misunderstandings at work is to check what people mean when they're talking to you. There are several ways to do this. You can simply say... What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? That's right. Or you can tell the person what you think they mean in your own words. Say, do you mean... Do you mean... Or, so, are you saying... So, are you saying... Or, correct me if I'm wrong, but do you mean... Correct me if I'm wrong, but do you mean... Good, Neil. You can say, sorry, I'm not sure if I got that... Are you saying... Sorry, I'm not sure if I got that. Are you saying... Or you can ask the other person to explain what they mean. Say something like, Sorry, what exactly do you mean by that? Sorry, what exactly do you mean by that? Or say, Sorry, could you go over that again? Sorry, could you go over that again? Could you expand on that? Could you expand on that? And finally, another way to avoid misunderstandings is to check that the person you're talking to has understood you. Just ask them. Say something like, Is that clear? Is that clear? Or after an explanation, say, Does that make everything clear? Does that make everything clear? And never forget the golden rule of avoiding misunderstandings. If in doubt, ask. It's better to ask now than make a mistake later. Thanks, Betty. You're welcome. Bye. 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 Oh, she's so good. Don't you think so, Conrado and Stephanie? Don't you think she's brilliant, Business Betty? Oh, yes. Yes, exactly. She definitely yeah. is. Well, that's very good because we're about to put it to the test. Yes, Conrado and Stephanie. Let's imagine you're back there now in your offices. You're having this conversation that got you into so much trouble. But this time, use some of Betty's tips. See if you can get it right. Does that make sense? Have another go at the hang-on, hang-up conversation. But this time, do what Betty suggested. OK, are you ready? Yes, yep, we're ready. ready. Play. 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 Ring, ring. Hello, Stephanie speaking. Hello, Stephanie. It's Conrado. I just wanted to ask if the reports are ready. The reports? Do you mean the monthly reports or the yearly reports? Oh, sorry. Yes, the monthly reports. The monthly reports. OK, just hang on. Sorry, I'm not sure if I got that. Are you saying, wait a minute? Yes, 
Just hang on a couple of minutes, please. Okay. Hello, Conrado. Sorry to keep you waiting. The monthly reports are nearly ready. The accountant is finishing them this afternoon. Correct me if I'm wrong, but do you mean they will be ready by the end of today? Yes, they'll be ready by five o'clock today. Does that make everything clear? Oh yes, thanks. That's great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Roleplay. Role role play. And that's the end of today's roleplay. How was it for you two? It was great. Much, much better. Yeah, wish we'd done it that way in the first place. That's good. And that's it. Are you saying we've reached the end of today's program? Yes, we have. So thanks for helping us out today, Conrado and Stephanie. It's goodbye from all of us. And join us again for another six-minute English. Bye. Bye.